AKG N5005. Are they still worth it in 2023? Hey, welcome to Thrift Shop. So, hey, thanks for joining. I try to find you good deals, good values here at the Thrift Shop. So please hit like, subscribe, help the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't hurt you. So, and it helps all of us out that are trying to make it in the big old world, YouTube world. Anyways, so what we have here are AKG N5005 IEMs. Yep. These were, came out, or like they came out on the market technically five years ago. That's right, five years ago for, depending how you look at it, $1,000. And you know what? I, I didn't hear much about them. There's not many videos or not many reviews. So yeah, um, not much to go on. Um, you know, it's pretty cool. So yeah, these things have um, five drivers, one dynamic driver, four balanced armature drivers. So I thought it'd be interesting. They're on sale for $200. You're getting a flagship product thousand dollar msrp on sale right now akg.com or harman.com you can pick these up for two hundred dollars it's old school look you have that kind of sure west tone you know i think my uh, first iems from sure were 12 13 14 years ago something like that i uh, loved them had this style didn't think anything of it um they were not detachable um, that came in a little bit later. Some of my earlier sets were not that way. So I don't mind this. You know, I do like the new style. Obviously, I think that's pretty. Uh, ceramic housing here. It's metalized. So, yeah, it's a finger, fingerprint uh, magnet. But um, but they're they're heavy and they're solid. These are not going to break you on your ceramic. Um, the, the cable, well, you can tell. That is from four or five years ago. This is just junk. It is hard. I mean, you're, I mean, you can't even get this. This is, uh, yeah. For flagship level, even four years ago, I think this is absolutely horrible. Um, it works. It does have an inline microphone. Um, and don't know why, but they thought it was important. And I did do the unboxing part here. I hope I did. I'll try to stick it in. So you can see everything that comes with because the box is loaded. It's a Great packaging. Um, you get uh, two cables, one uh, 3.5, one 2.5. You get Bluetooth adapters to run it. You get, uh, I don't know, six pairs of tips. Um, so, yeah, you know, nice little case, everything. It's numbered, so it's limited edition. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, it was a gamble going out and getting these. So, um, it was a risk. And after the headphones that, that I just reviewed, you know, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. So let's get into how these sound. So I'm going to put these down. I recently did the Dunu Talos. So please watch that review. Uh, great planar IEMs. I actually love them. So that's what these were compared to. $200 versus $200. Should kind of work out quasi good, right? Well, the first day, I was ready to throw them away. Seriously. It was that bad. Now, normally, I need to get this one up here. I use medium tips for IEMs. I've done it for a long, long time. I know what size I work. I put them in. So I had mediums on here. And these are spin fits, by the way, it came with. I put them in and there was absolutely no base. You know, I shoved them in there like you try to do with most IEMs, and there was no bass. Literally nothing. You know, I kept moving them out. Nothing worked. I couldn't figure it out. I was just totally perplexed. I mean, it was worse than flat, straight. There was literally just treble. They were just spitting treble out at me, and I was worried. So... Yep, I was ready. I actually went to the website to start the process for a return. And I waited. I came back the next day. Actually, I burned them in. So I put them on for about three hours. 
Um, it's in a vintage, vintage uh, uh, receiver, so I didn't want to leave it on all night because uh, it does get quite warm. So just let it burn three hours. Went the next day, and I had music playing already on, on the same old vintage uh, Pioneer receiver. And as I was entering them into my ear, I could hear the bass. And then as soon as it, my ear, it went in my ear canal, it was gone, just completely gone. It's like the opposite of what most modern IEMs do. So, you know, I was worried that this depth would be a little bit short. I do have some problems with that, but that's not the case. It's, you know, equal or better than the Duno Talos. So really didn't know what was going on. So I did put small ear tips on and all of a sudden, voila, this thing came to life. And I was totally amazed. So I kept burning this in. I was listening daily, kept burning them in for three hours. I don't know if you believe in that, but in this case, it, it kind of helped, I think. Um, anyways, so yeah, I've been listening to them and I've fallen in love. I, these are very specific, okay? Very specific in use case for what I found. I think there is too much treble energy for me. That is for me. If you're a treble lover, you're absolutely going to love this. But I can tolerate it. I can listen to it. I can actually enjoy it, but not for long. You know, I will get listening fatigue. So if you're using a chip-based product to drive it, a chip-based DAC, um, I could not listen to this um, at all. One song and, and I was literally done. Um, these things have so much detail that, um, and treble, especially in the treble arena, I think the BAs are just overdriving uh, your senses so much that it didn't work out. So moving over to the Denifrips Aries, um, wow, everything started to work. It took that DAC, um, that R2R DAC, which I personally, I'm not, I'm not the greatest fan of, I, I, I like details over what it does. So I was a little bit, eh, you know, bummed with it. Plugging these in, I'm retrieving a lot more detail or perceived detail. Um, and I think it comes from the separation of the sound stage that these can give you. I have not heard an earphone give me that much separation. Now the sound stage, I don't think is wide, super wide. I just think where every instrument is around is perfectly done. And I have, there's no earphone that I've listened to. Maybe there are others out there. I'm saying for me, I have not heard an earphone do what this thing can do. Totally blown away. I, you know, again, after that first day, I was really, really worried. And I got to say that this is a home run. Now, I already have a cable in order. Uh, I was hoping it would be here already uh, because I just think that it, uh, just, it's horrible. But... I also use the KNRU6 here, um, drove it fine. Actually, I had to almost push this. So these are claimed to be 116 dB efficient at 16 ohms. And on paper, that is so easy to drive that there should be no problem. But guess what? It took a lot to drive them. So I don't know if the specs are wrong or, or what it is. So just be aware that, that, that these took a little more power than, than what I anticipated. So yeah, dongle DAC, you, you just might want to watch. I mean, it was fine. It's, it, it worked. Uh, the RTR portion of this was a perfect match. So this is a perfect kind of earphone for an R2R DAC. Now, we talk about the frequency response. You can, you know, I don't have graphs. I don't measure. You can go out and get that stuff. There's plenty of people that have done it. it this does have four nozzles. So I have the reference nozzle in here. You have a bass boost, which way too much bass. So with the reference, the bass is even a little bit too much. So you, they, they're missing a filter to say, let's take down the bass one notch, two notches. They don't have it. So the other uh, two nozzles, there's a very high uh, treble, treble increase, and then a mid high increase. And I've tried them all. Um, Again, I don't recommend the high treble. The mid-high, yeah, it's okay. Reference, love, bass, no. Now, for your bass head, 
slap that bass boost in there. It does bring the treble down a little bit. So for those who really, really like that, or their system doesn't have a lot of bass, or maybe if you're using a, you know, a chip based DAC that's a little bit high in the treble, go with the bass boost. It'll work. Maybe if you have an EQ on something you're using, then you can EQ it down a little bit. But $200, yes, I'm all in. Go get you some of that. Thanks. Please like, subscribe, help the channel grow. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.